guys, this is Vivia, your old friend. Welcome to Haidong. Today, we are taking a closer look at our bike's LED dashboard display. I will introduce you three different kinds of a dashboard. First, let's take a look at the display of Challenger and Explorer. Let's go. This display is used to do the model Challenger and Explorer. First, let's turn on the display. The largest of these numbers is the current speed. So when the power is turned on, you are either in power assist or fully electric mode. And there's something that you're going to see. If you twice the throttle, the number will change accordingly. So next, we are talking about the battery capacity. In the upper left hand corner, you are going to say power, and then you will say five cells. This is your uh, bike's battery life. Now gradually, as you ride your bike over time, throughout the day, you're going to say this start to go down. By the time uh, you get to about one, you know it's the most time for you to get the ba bike battery back on the charger. Next, we will take a look at the pedal assist level. So you will see here the amount of power being contributed uh, to supporting your uh, pedaling when you are in power assist mode. So naturally, if you want more power to supply the effort that you are putting in as you push, then you can raise this number up. So that's going to give you that faster speed automatically with the pedaling that you are doing on your own. Here you will also see the travel at distance on the LED display. This number shows the total mileage. The single mileage uh, can be brought back to zero at any time, but the total mileage cannot be sold out. How to bring back the single mileage to zero? In the power on state, press and hold the minus and plus buttons for more than 2 seconds. And then the meter enters normal setting state. TC stands for clearing the a single mileage. Yes or no can be selected by pressing a plus or a minus button. And yes means cleaning the single riding mileage. No means that the single riding distance is not cleared. Short press I button to confirm. Next, I'm gonna show you how to turn on the heat light. Just short press this button and you can see the, this icon. This means the light has been turned on. Then short press it again. The light has been turned off. In addition to what you see on this display, there's also something really cool just underneath it. Here, you are going to say what well, says USB, and this is a rubber covering a USB port. So whenever you, you need to charge your phone, this is going to be a lifesaver for you, because you can actually just plug that in right here to the port and you will be good to go. Okay, that's all for um, this display. Next is the display for a road e-bike Pioneer. It's quite simple, you can see there are just two buttons. Press and hold the button M for three seconds to open the display. Then 
You, if you quickly press the M, the heat light will be turned on. And here you can see the icon. The largest of these numbers is the current speed. In the upper right hand corner, you are going to see the battery life. And here it shows the pedal assist level. You can press this button to shift the pedal assist level. This number means the assist level. And this is a speed unit. Okay, that's all for this display. Next is a display that is used to commuter e-bikes, Pathfinder and Walker. Press and hold the M button for 3 seconds to open the display. If you press minus and M together, the heat light will be turned on. This is a battery life. And this number means the current speed. Here is the pedal assist level. Okay, if you quick press M, you're gonna say the function list. The first icon means automator. This means writing time. This means cycle display. This is a trip automator. And this means max speed. Just like other display, the total mileage cannot be sold out, but the single mileage can be sold out. Uh, how to change some settings? Next, I'm gonna tell you. Now, let's return back. Okay, press up and down for two seconds to enter the setting interface. For a single mileage, you can um, you have to switch it to one. Okay, now it's one, so we don't have to switch it. Then press down to clean the kilometers to zero, and then press M. For the speed unit, you have to switch it to four. Okay, now it's four, and you can see in the corner, uh, the unit is a kilometer. We have to. Uh, press up or down button to ch to change it. Okay, then press M to confirm it. Okay, then press this two together to return back. Okay, that's all for this display. Okay, so that's all for today's information on the display. If you do have any questions, please feel free to drop us a message. You can also follow our YouTube, Facebook or LinkedIn, on which you will find many different kinds of interesting and practical videos. Thank you so much for your watching. See you next time.